Hello YouTube and the modeling community. I hope everybody's having a good Saturday. Um, I definitely am. I'm out here in the shop, wrenching away, cutting some plastic, etc, etc. We're having a ball, watching some YouTube videos as we work. Um, we actually got some nice weather. It's uh, stopped raining. We've had <laughs> a couple, three days of rain and, and some hard rain. <coughs> so the grass is very wet. Um, so other than that, uh, I plan on just staying in here and working on models and toy cars and all that stuff today. Um, if it dries up enough, which I don't know, it's kind of humid, um, I'd like to get the grass cut. Um, I've neglected that for a couple weeks now, so we'll see. But anyhow, today, thank gosh, uh, my order just came in from HobbyNet Models. As you can see here, I bought another truck. Um, I got some paint over there on the other bench, and that's what I really needed the most right now was the paint um, for the street machine build. So we started on the, the uh, USAC build today, um, starting to get it mocked up on how I want to sit. I've kind of modified the box a little bit. Um, I'll show you here. So with that being said, we'll go over to the other bench here. And here we go. This is what we're going to do. We are going to make this truck the way I would build it in real life if it was mine. And that's going to be a drag and drive type truck. So we're, we're going to make a big tire as you can see there. So we've got to build wheel tubs now uh, to fill in the holes. Um, but we're going to do it to where it's a street drag and drive like a drag week truck slick week truck um we're gonna have drag radio on it obviously i gotta get the front up just a little bit um just like the back of the running board i want to get the front up a little bit but we're gonna go with that low stance um very nice kit um you know as many have noted before this is the first time i've built one um the gap is a little excessive between the back of the cab and the box. Um, other than that, very nice. Um, I've been able to already modify the sides of the box to get the truck to sit where I want it um, and not make it look like a pro mod. I don't want the thing to look like a pro mod at all. So that's why um, I'm not going to chop the top on it either. Um, I want the truck to look like it's factory you know race truck type thing you know not all butchered up so um we are going to uh i have a couple different options for motors um and yes it will be a ford in there um i'm a big uh fan of if you're going to build a ford you put a ford in it if you're going to build a chrysler you put a chrysler in it um if you're going to build a chevrolet you put a chevrolet in it um, I've done this before even with big cars where I've helped guys put small block Chryslers in the Chevrolet cars just to piss people off you know um, to me I like the look of every manufacturer's motors um, I like the mechanical aspect of of each manufacturer's motors um, so with that being said I'm going to put a Ford in here now what for it in here I'm still very undecisive right now I've had multiple thoughts go through my head on how I want to do this um, part of me would like to put like a 429 boss you know Hemi style motor in there um, I have a couple 427 like race car motors that I could put in there um, I don't know all I do know is if I go with a retro style motor in there then i don't think i'm going to leave those wheels those will be the tires for this truck but that there is a weld v series style wheel so if i go with a retro ford engine i think what i'm going to do and i have another set of wheels coming for those tires that are the old american five slot deals 
And so then I would do like a 60s theme look to this truck. Uh, if I go with a more modern style Ford engine, like a Coyote or something like that, um, then maybe we'll leave these V V series style wheels on there, which I love these wheels. I have these wheels on my one of my big cars. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of torn. So we're gonna see what uh, what we we go with the model. Right now we're we're just doing the mock up of the chassis. And with the modification we've already done, um, we're not going to run the Corvette style uh, rear suspension in this truck. Uh, drag a drive, you know, you're going to want a rear end in there. So we're going to probably look for a 4 9 inch out of one of the kits and we'll put a 4 9 inch straight axle in the back. Um, <clears throat> Lucas C kind of touched on the whole. Th thought process on how they designed this model kit and yeah it's kind of strange that it had the Mopar K-frame in there um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here yet with the front end um, part of me thought about um, putting a straight axle under it um, we've done a couple in big big car form that we didn't do gassers but we've done a Lord version straight axle in there. Um, they're very simple. Um, they're lightweight, and for a drag style truck, that they, they work really well. So I might even do that. I might venture off to put a straight axle under the front, and still modify the thing to where it sits at that ride height. Um, I could do somewhat of a modern independent uh, front suspension. Um, I really don't know yet. I mean, we'll probably know more tonight, right? I want to get the back suspension done first. Um, once the back is done, then we'll make a decision on the front end on how we're going to tie it all in, um, get the firewall kind of in place, and we'll go from there. Now, <clears throat> as you can tell, we're going to go back and forth. The duster's over here. We're over there working on that, as you can tell with the mess. Um, we're putting the motor together now, the Hemi for that. Um, the left coast model car build, I might put over here on this bench. Since the RC stuff is kind of done, I can put some more of that RC stuff there away. All the A-scale stuff is put away for the winter, basically. So, um, I might put the left coast model shop build over there and that way there I can bounce between these three builds as something's drying, curing, whatever. We can keep working, um, get these builds done. Um, I start to realize now why so many people that are content creators have multiple builds, you know, gives you some time in between <coughs> stuff that's got to sit and dry. Um, sometimes you just need to get on to a different project because you got a different creative thought. So, anyhow, we're having fun today. Hope you guys are having fun today. Um, hope everybody's getting some time in, work on their cars. I appreciate everybody that has reached out to me um, with well wishes. Um, as many of you know, I had COVID. Uh, last weekend um, th this time was my second it was a breeze compared to the first time the first time put me in the hospital I mean that was miserable so um, this has been great to be back out here um, I was out here a little bit last night kind of cleaning some stuff up uh, getting ready for the weekend uh, we're gonna have a good good weekend we'll probably uh, be on with the uh, Got Fuels uh, live stream tonight with Brian's uh, live stream. See all the boys. We'll be working on this USAC build while we're talking. So I'm going to work on the duster now. Get some parts painted. Let that stuff dry. And then a little bit. Uh, the live stream will probably start sometime in the evening if they have it. And I'll be back on the Ford working on the rear suspension and the mock-up. I got to... Do a little kit bashing and try and find a rear end um, that I can narrow up and put in that car, in that truck. So, yeah. 
And with that being said, I appreciate every one of you guys that have reached out to me. Um, you guys wanted a shop card or you wanted to trade shop cards. That is so cool. I totally appreciate that. I got everybody that has sent me their information. Um, your shop card is in the mail. I got them out last night. Um, if I missed your information or I haven't replied back to you, um, then I don't know what's going on there. Um, I replied back to everybody that emailed me their information just so they knew that I received their thing. I did check my spam folder and there was nothing in there. So I think I got everybody. If not, just message me again um, and I'll be more than happy to send you a shop card. Um, or if you want to trade, that's awesome. Um, when uh, I had a few people that are going to send me theirs, then I'm going to create a wall out here. I think that's going to be very cool to have a shop card wall out here. Um, then, you know, when I have big car friends that are over here um, perusing through the toy shop thing too, they can see that. You guys will get all that uh, recognition, kind of spark the light into some of these guys too to where, wow, this is a bigger community than what they think. You know, it's just not a couple guys that are building models and slapping them in a car show every once in a while. This is a huge community. This is a huge um, creative window for a lot of people to build uh, some really killer stuff. Um, I think uh, these some of these hobbies get way overlooked <clears throat> at how much is involved with uh, people's creativity and their time. Um, so it's going to be really cool where people can see that, wow, this is really cool. These people actually have shops and they have channels and, and uh, stuff like that. I've had a few people that have found my channel from the big car world and they were just like shocked, you know, about... The fact that one I was doing it and two you know they didn't know that I did models as well as the RC and stuff so a lot of people know that I do RC cars along with the big cars um, it's usually the big car stuff and the RC stuff I'm fighting schedules or events with um, but like I told a lot of people so far this this year I plan on just focusing more on model building um, and then, of course, the full-size cars, um, getting stuff done. I enjoy these models. These models take you back to when you're, when I was first a kid and buying my first kits, and this is awesome. So, um, so also, <clears throat> with that being said, I do have a stash ad that I was excited to get, and that was this guy found on eBay. So, uh... I love this kit. As many of you may have uh, known that it subscribed to me, um, this kit here I actually made into a slot car. Um, it's one of the uh, videos. I don't remember what number video it was, but if you want to look back, you can see where this thing was built into a slot car. So I was very happy to find this. Um, maybe it's not super hard to find. I don't know. Don't really care either. Um, but for me, I was just glad to find a new kit, um, cause I want to build one as the kit. Um, I love, even though it's a plain paint scheme, I love this car. I don't know what it is. I've always was a Sterling Marlin fan, uh, Mark Martin, etc. So I just love this Maxwell house deal. It was always a cool car. So I was glad to find this. This was a Great find for me, and I'm going to build this thing. Not right now, obviously, but um, yeah. So, with that being said, thanks to everybody that subscribes. <coughs> um, go ahead and comment, hit the like button. Um, if you haven't sent me any information on ShopGuard and you want one, please feel free to email me. It's in the About section. I'll be more than happy to send you one. Um, you want to trade let's trade um, that's cool so I hope everybody has a great day I hope everybody gets some time to sit at their bench do a little modeling uh, have a have a couple adult beverages 
uh, whatever your choice is, and uh, let's let's have fun. Let's have a good day. This is why we go to work, and so we can sit down on the weekends and have a have an awesome time. So from that, we're gonna sign off here, and uh, we'll talk to everybody later. Cheers. Have a good day, everybody.